Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft. These are not the world's biggest companies, right? And they can get away with breaking the law and breaking the rules because they can just pay fines and move on. Why is the big Solidarian company registered in The Hague? I tried to research it and found it. It's because of the tax avoidance system in Holland. It is quite overwhelming to see how these legal structures are being used and abused by, by powerful economic actors. It took many years, but the progress is there. We are seeing changes, we're seeing cracks created in this, these power structures, and we are making a difference in people's lives. We this is the world we want? How is this the world we want? So, do something. Don't just say something or sign a petition, do something. Hi. Hey, Dick. So, Hi. welcome back to Solo. Yeah, it's quite new for me, this, uh, this area, yeah. When Somo started, and I was the first employee mm. for Somo, we started at the Paulus Potterstraat, that's the uh, in opposite of the Van Gogh Museum, in the basement of a bigger building. I became involved in the anti-imperialist struggle, so to say, in Holland, publishing about it, discussing about it, doing research about it already. And, uh, well, then I finished my military alternative service and then I uh, applied for SOMO. SOMO was founded by those founding organizations to assist other, com other organizations in building knowledge about those companies. Not take initiative themselves, but to found it and to research and to assist others to build on their knowledge. And the direct reason to establish SOMO is um, yeah, the coup in Chile. Basically, the point was that for the first time it really became clear what is the power of multinationals. And that was so astonishing and so clear we had to do something. Well, you have to understand doing research at that time was quite different from now. There was no internet. So there was nothing you could do on the computer. There was hardly any computer at that time. And all information or documentation was print printed, written material. One of my jobs was to read the Financial Times, The Economist, cut out all the articles or multinationals. So half of my time I was spending on cutting papers and sticking it on larger papers and um, coding so we could find it back. Right around when I started at Selmo, we worked very hard to establish networks, uh, international networks, national networks, regional European networks of organizations that would help us both be connected to the global south and to the rest of the world where, where these impacts of these things are being felt. The power of networks is in the ability to share knowledge and to uh, facilitate uh, collaboration and also the building the power that again sort of the together we're stronger aspect. Uh, in networks like the OECD Watch Network, like the European Coalition for Corporate Justice, the MVO platform, these are three networks that just in this period of a few years, SOMO was instrumental in conceiving, creating, fostering, fundraising, and really bringing together a large group of people. And those networks, all three of those networks now have become much bigger and much more influential than I think we, we ever could have dreamed at the time. At SOMA, we have been working together with different uh, civil society organizations to, to raise awareness uh, on, on the risks of, of yeah, the Energy Charter Treaty. This is an international investment treaty that was signed in the early 1990s to protect investments in the energy sector. And what we see today is that many fossil fuel investors are actually using this treaty to claim compensation uh, for government measures uh, to protect the environment or to do climate action, for example. And one case study that we've been looking into is the RWE case against the Netherlands. And it used this treaty to sue the Netherlands for 1.4 billion euros to claim this compensation for the decision taken in the Netherlands to phase out coal-fired power generation. Um, and we have been quite successful in actually yeah, raising this type of awareness and uh, change the mindset of, of certain policymakers and parliamentarians up to the point that now different EU member states, including the Netherlands, 
uh, have announced their intention to withdraw from the Energy Charter Treaty. And now also the European Commission and the European Parliament are now calling for a coordinated EU withdrawal from this Energy Charter Treaty. So that will have a major spillover effect uh, on, on, on the whole trade and investment regime. I think it's also an exciting time to be working on these issues uh, because there is this growing movement of people, activists, acti uh, academics, that are looking into these issues, but it's also policymakers and regulators, they are also hearing um, the people in these movements, including SOMO, but also so many of our partners, things that were completely out of the question just 10 years ago, even five years ago, are now on the table when we talked about breakups and separating companies. So, you know, you take Google and you make it into a much smaller company so that it has less of an ability to cheat and to impose its terms on other people. So there is development happening and that's why also it's very exciting time to be working on this because we can contribute to real change and to um, the solutions to be as bold as possible. I don't feel a person of proud because it's not my result or not, not my, uh, my work at all, but I feel happy with it, that it works, that it's still working and that it's doing relevant research work and that a lot of people who work there are still committed in the same way I was committed. But it's not just work. It feels good because you can see that we have really have made progress in the topics itself. Every time it's about corporate accountability and fighting corporate power. And I think we are um, getting better and better to, to work on these issues. Things have changed a lot, I think, in the last 50 years. So we've gone from not having our research and companies without the ability of, of using the internet to now basically researching the companies that own the internet. I also hope that at SOMO we, we, we are able to work and, and, and develop some alternatives on, 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 on where to go to in the future and, and do that together with different uh, organizations and, and social movements from, from all over the world. We have a lot of challenges and we have a lot of setbacks, but we are making a difference. We are seeing changes. We are seeing a chipping away at that, those structures. Uh, at the, we're seeing cracks created in this these power structures, and we are making a difference in people's lives. SOMO is very mission focused, and that's, for me personally, that's hugely part of why I work for SOMO, because everybody here cares more about the mission than about themselves or their ego or a name or a, anything fancy. They care about, this is a serious problem and we want to make a contribution to solving it. Yeah, I'm still very proud on the work we are doing, and. Uh, and keep on doing, yeah.